All right, this has been 72 hours after I made the cream soap that I we videotaped the other day. Um, I'm not exactly thrilled with this, but we'll work with it, and I'll see what I can come up with with it. But just to forewarn you, it's not exactly what I expected because, I mean, I've worked that recipe with all of my soaps, and you've all seen them. They all are nice, firm cream soaps. Um, this one, for some reason, and the only difference is I did not use castor oil in this soap. It was just the rice bran oil. So, look at how thin it is. I mean, it's a cream soap, and you can appreciate that. Let me grab a spoon. But this is our cream soap, and it doesn't thicken. So, the only way I'm going to get this to come up thicker is by adding, um, I'm thinking we're going to, I'm going to have to turn this one into maybe like a shaving soap or something, something that, um, has clays or something in it so I can thicken it up a lot. Or my husband was saying make a, make a thick cream soap for, uh, um, foaming pumps, but I don't think it'll go through a foaming pump because I think it's too thick too. But that's what it looks like. Now, it's nothing close to what it looked like when we were done in the video, but this is 72 hours afterwards and this is what we have. So, it made me go back and want to rethink that recipe and look at what the problem possibly could have been or where we could have went wrong and I followed the recipe to a T as usual but uh, it goes to show I even make mistakes with it but I'll find something for it uh, I'll find something specific for it who knows but this is what happens sometimes in I don't know if maybe we added I added too much water to it or what but the water account was no different than in any other recipe that I've used with that same recipe. The only, like I said, the only difference is that I used castor oil. I did not use castor oil. Instead, I used straight five ounces of um, rice bran oil. So we'll have to. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer to kind of rot a little bit and see if maybe it thickens up at all. But I'm not staying too hopeful right now, but we'll see, and I will find something for this one way or another. So I'm not too worried about it at this point because I've got my other soap cooking with my own recipe that I made um, or came up with and formulated myself. So. I'm going to close this up for now and we will, I can't say it's a failure, but it's sure not what I expected it to be, but hopefully that right there is going to be a successful soap. I will see you guys in a little bit and we'll be working on the new formula. Bye-bye. Mm,